Committee. Will the Tuesday, September 19, 2017 um, meeting of the Wilma Public Library Board of Trustees please come to order. Madam Secretary, will you call the roll? I certainly will. Trustee George. Uh, present. Trustee McDonald. Here. Trustee O'Loughlin. Here. Trustee Barges. Yes, and Trustee Burke. Here. Okay. Um, uh, first item on the agenda is public comment. I see no members of the public here. Um, so we will move on to the second item, which is a presentation. Uh, we're going to hear from Joan about the uh, Friends of the Library. How nice of you to come, and how nice for all the things you do. And well, thank you so if much. If you can, uh, let's see if we can figure out um, the sound close enough so people listening will be able to hear what you have to say. Great. Yeah, I this think they good. rebroadcast them. And do I have to speak any closer to it? That's or fine. That's that, fine. That That's good. Good. Okay, wonderful. Well, thank you so much for inviting me. I'm delighted to be here. And I know many of you and have seen and talked with many of you. So we may now my remarks are, or my comments are a little basic um, about what we do, but just want to be sure that uh, everyone um, knows who we are and um, what we do and, and the relationship we have with the library. So I'm the president. Um, I started out as secretary and soon moved up to become president. And I've been president for two years, and I'm on my second term. So um, Friends of the Library has been around for more than 20 years. And it was started by a woman um, who was quite dedicated and um, started the whole concept. Many libraries do have friends um, of the library, people who love the library, people who are dedicated to books and to reading. But we think our program here, friends, our friends group, is a little unique and um, very dedicated. Um, our mission is to fund and support meaningful library programming for all ages in the community. So library programming is our passion. Um, our board meets uh, five four to five times a year, at least four meetings a year, and so we do schedule more in case we need that. And um, each board member serves a two-year term with a term limits of two terms. So um, we hold an annual membership drive every um, November, December, and we currently have about 144 members, and these are people who are some are many local community members, and some are people who have moved away but still feel a commitment and a passion for Wilmette and the public library. They've grown up here, their kids have grown up here, and even though they're in far off communities, they still contribute and are um, interested in what we're doing here in Wilmette. Um, last year we raised about more than $10,000 in our membership alone, and we have many philanthropic uh, groups who continue to contribute um, all through the year. So we get some nice, sizable checks. We don't even know that we had um, those friends, but we're delighted when we do. And um, of course, as I mentioned earlier, our mission is that every cent, or almost every cent, that we receive, either through um, our memberships or the donations, or as, I'm, um, as you all hopefully are aware, of our bookstore, uh, Books Down Under. And that was coined by a librarian, Bonnie, I can't recall her name, Bonnie's last name, but, oh, Forkash, Forkash. thank you. Met her, she, I was just coming on board, thank you. <laughs> Bonnie was um, a wonderful person and, and came up with that name, which we think suits it well because it is, of course, at the lower, you know, <laughs> lower library. Although at times we think, well, people don't really know what books down under means. So we always have a tagline, the only used and the only bookstore, not only gently used books, but the only bookstore in Wilmette now, since we've lost some of the commercial bookstores. So um, Books Down Under has books for all ages and at all prices. Um, 
We're open six days a week. We used to be open seven, and we hope to get back to seven days. But the bookstore is totally run by volunteers, and we have about 60 BDU, as we like to say, 60 uh, BDU volunteers who keep the bookstore running um, almost all day, um, 9 to 5, and some evenings also. So we're um, delighted that we can serve the community that well. Once in a while, I have to admit, you've all probably heard that our bookstore uh, volunteer may be not show up or maybe isn't feeling well or whatever. We do our best to keep the bookstore open all those hours as promised. Um, we do accept the lifeblood of BDU are the book donations from community residents and, and beyond. And we may get um, people dropping off. They drop off right at that um, staff entrance mm -hmm. and can drop off and then get a um, tax deduction, tax re ID receipt. And um, we may get hundreds and hundreds of books, many of which are, of course, sold, some of which are not sellable. So either we pass those on to Goodwill or um, other avenues. And um, we have dedicated volunteers who come almost every day, for sure Mondays and Fridays, but some come every day. This is their passion. And they sort and they sift. And then we have shelvers who work at the bookstore. We also, I should mention, have the annex, which is right on the first floor, not as large and not as extensive as our selection or our collection, I should say, um, at Books Down Under. Um, so there's priced um, very reasonably from anywhere from maybe 25 cents or 50 cents to a paperback to maybe $10 at most um, for a beautiful coffee table book. So it's a great resource if anyone's looking for a gift that um, we have these gorgeous coffee table books that come in. Um, the library pro um, funding process involves um, the three um, major categories of the librarians, the adult, youth services, and community, who um, once a year submit their funding requests. They used to be called their wish lists, but we like to say it's their funding requests now. So what all the labor and all the sales, as I mentioned, go right back into programming, and every year the librarian and submit what they would like us to fund. And um, I'm proud to say that for the past um, 15 to 20 years, we have funded, depending on our account and, and our sales and resources, but we've tallied up it's almost a million dollars in funding that has gone towards library programming. And in the past, we used to also um, help purchase some equipment. Um, two years ago, we helped purchase the artwork who are we from the, um, in the youth services department? You know, the wonderful mm -hmm. interactive. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, I have fun playing with it too myself, <laughs> yeah. Eric Nye. And um, we were involved in the process and in um, everything along the way. So we were quite proud. That was more than um, $12,000 that we supported. And this year, I'm proud to say, again, we have promised the um, librarians um, $42,000 worth of funding. And we work closely with Barb in um, accounting and um, um, administration to um, keep track of that. And um, our treasurer, who is um, a great guy, Larry Dickman from um, North Shore Community Bank, Cindy Kreider was our treasurer before, very dedicated community members and local um, bankers. And Cindy, uh, no, I'm sorry, and Larry and Barb and myself keep close tabs on um, our funding and, and um, paying bills and so forth. Um, um, that something else that I felt very strongly about, that we sell as many books as we can. We, um, what we can't sell if they're damaged or they've been marked up from students and so forth. But if they're in pretty good shape and we might have extras or excess inventory, we've started to be, uh, be very uh, philanthropic ourselves. We spread what we like to say our well-met footprint beyond our, our borders. And we now have um, a number of contributions that we are, um, have been asked for books 
Um, it's called Hands of Peace, a group that is um, Israeli and Palestinian. I know the library also donated some books to that group. We donated um, quite a number, and then they shipped them over to Israel or Palestine to um, start a library. Um, Jakarta, Indonesia has been the recipient of um, children's books that some local residents were going and wanted back to their country and, and wanted to um, bring books. Mm -hmm. But also locally, um, the uh, Cook County Correction Facility, um, Lake County Courthouse, a Just Harvest, which is a soup kitchen in Rogers mm -hmm. Park, um, schools on the south side, some charter schools and some other schools, Chicago Wis Women in Prison, uh, Glenbrook Hospital that has a waiting area for um, patients who um, come adults and come with their kids, and um, Rotary is also a um, recipient of a lot of our um, excess inventory. So we, again, feel very proud that if someone comes and asks or, or hears about what we have, if we can, we'd like to share what has been donated here. Mm -hmm. um, and that is, um, in a nutshell, about what Friends does. Um, and um, many of our programs, um, you um, were uh, in your packet, um, give um, our annual report. It's brief, but um, try to keep it light. And um, every year we're proud to be part of One Book Everybody Reads. Um, we're um, been 12, I believe this is the 13th year of the One Book program. And um, it's, it's exciting for me. And um, I, we are um, pleased to be um, supporters of that. Um, there's also um, another popular, quite popular, is the um, children and adults summer reading program. Uh, we have a lot of funds that go towards incentives for kids to read during the summer and um, all kinds of other um, events that they do. Um, one last year that we were proud, and I was quite keen on this, was Uniquely Chicago. And that was a wonderful program, it was kind of a special program, and now it's going to be on World War II. And to dovetail with all those uh, uh, World War II programs and films, we have oodles of books on history and the war and biographies. So we will be working with um, having a cart that not only is in our BDU, but we plan to take to the programs and sell and offer those and maybe reach an audience that wasn't that aware of who we are mm -hmm. and be able to s sell and, and reach an ad additional people. Mm -hmm. I must mention, and then I'll wrap it up, that we also are trying to reach the community. And this is, again, important to us to market who we are. Some people come to the library and say, oh, no, I don't even know who you are or where you're located, which is down by the copier machine on the lower level. Mm -hmm. But we've been at Wilmette's. Summerfest selling books. We've been at the farmer's market uh, selling books, cookbooks especially. And we've been at Go Green Will Met and getting the word out about who we are and, and what we do. So uh, that kind of wraps it up for what um, Friends does. And um, again, 60 plus volunteers. Um, we have a thank you luncheon. And I know many of you have come to our luncheon before. Um, it's going to be Friday, October 6th. Some of the, um, there was an error on the um, printed invitation, oh. and I'm, I'm sorry about that. It's the 6th. It's a Friday afternoon from 12 to 1, and we hope you'd be our guests. And um, join us and, and meet the volunteers. And um, again, we have um, dedicated volunteers who have been part of this Friends. Um, one woman is 92, and she comes every week and um, is, is a driving force in, in who we are and, and what we do. So thank you so much. Again, I'm delighted to be here. Nice to meet you. Hi. Thank you. Um, and um, any questions or anything that um, I know? I did have a friend who just came up with a question today about um, I know you, I think you have a list of what you accept um, on the website, right? The kind of books you're looking for and exactly. the kind of books you're not looking for. Thank you, Jenny. Yes, <laughs> that was on my note here. Um, I kind of must have missed that. We have on the website that thank 
you, uh, Wilmette Library, is um, just a link on, on your homepage. And it's also right on the f that door, the staff door, as a reminder of what kinds of books. Because if something comes to us that's marked or people have cleaned their basement and it's wet or just not really sellable, it's it's of no use to us, and that being our goal, to sell books and turn it right back into library programming. Right. So, um, yes, thank you. That's um, important we'll to know that, that um, textbooks, for example, are some that we um, accept, but they have to be relatively current, okay. and we, we say that um, on our guidelines. Well, thank you very so. much for all the that the friends do for the library. Yeah, I really yeah, appreciate absolutely. it. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks, we Joan. wouldn't be yeah. the same library without it. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> My uncle and comes to visit from out of state, and he always goes to folks down under. <laughs> Loves and to I read. get books for my grandchildren when they come. Oh, <laughs> wonderful. And it's amazing to see the sorting process sometime if uh, you ever want to see it. I mean, well, those volunteers are it. Wow, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's they're fast, they're strong, they're smart, <laughs> but they just and they love And it's a nice and they love books and, and they, they love books, yeah. right. Yeah, it's 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 a and great it's a process. Nice, it's a, it's seamless. Right. Right. And mm -hmm. it's a camaraderie for people that um, they may be 